The Tour of the Lake District is a 96 mile circuit starting and finishing in the popular tourist town of Ambleside. The trail takes in each of the main Lake District valleys, along lake shores, through woodland and over remote mountain passes. Join me as I take on this winter Lakeland adventure with a mix of freezing wild camps and cosy country pubs. Morning glampers. Drinks are frozen solid. Right. So cold mate, that was so cold. We've got ice. We're back in slush puppy basically. Bust out two of these foot things and put them on my hips where I was sleeping on my side in contact with this. And that did the job so I managed to get a bit of kit but not a lot. Let's have a look together. Let's moon. <laughs> La moon. <laughs> I'll tell you what, I didn't sleep good last night, like, the ground was just sapping the heat out of me. I'm thinking, well, like, why? I've been on loads of, like, winter camps and camps in snow and that. And I think maybe, I don't know, it's like the R value of my mat has dropped. I have had that, yeah, I've had that mat for maybe, I don't know, five or six years. I've used it extensively. It might just be at the stage where I need a new one. Um, and also, I didn't bring me a little thin yoga mat, that really does help. Like having a, a, a foam pad underneath your airbed. So what I had to do was, I put, I laid out my, just my waterproof trousers and coat. Whatever I could find, and then I just laid my Osprey bag underneath it, so sort of like that. But it just gave me that little bit of distance from ground and that was okay. So I managed to get a couple of hours. I had my merino wool layer on, I had my down trousers on hat and all that and i felt warm in my sleeping bag it was just because under underneath the bit that you lay on your sleeping bag it compresses all the the down or the feathers or the synthetic so there's pretty much nothing there and you're relying purely on on what you're lying on and even though it's the exterm neo exterm it wasn't good enough so i think it's maybe gone to shit on inside of it you know from Occasionally I'll have to blow it up with my mouth or I have done back in the day as well and before I got my pump and that can make it all go a bit gammy inside and maybe that's happened and it's just not as warm as it used to be so I'll put that on my little list of uh, things to save up for but I think I need a new mat it served, it served me well, I've had it for years Oh it's so biting, you can't tell because there's no snow but it doesn't look cold does it? Oh, I mean every, me well, my water bottles are frozen, me, uh, me lecky likes have turned into a slush puppy. Oh. Well I'm hoping anyway though, so I've got to take on these bogs now and I'm hoping that they're, uh, they're all frozen, that'll be nice. And this is full of ice again. <laughs> so, tonight... Tonight I'm going to have to, I'm going to have to keep lowland, I'm going to have to, and if I do find a pub or something, come on, we're getting in it, <laughs> I'm going to be camping every night on the top of the mountain, I'm making myself an igloo out of snow, I don't care, oh, excuse me, have you got, can you do me a discount for a bed of breakfast for one please? That's life, that's the adventure, right let's get this packed up because holding this camera is doing me digits in, come on. There we go, leave no trace. Oh, and we're off. So in the guidebook, it is from Rostwaite, which we came from down there, over the tops to Grasmere. Now I'm setting off pretty early. It's just, it's about 10 past seven. I'm looking to get to Grasmere before noon. So mid morning, I'm gonna get to Grasmere and have a coffee. And then we're gonna set off and we're gonna do the next day which is Grasmere to Patterdale. So two in one today. Tell you what mate, out of the way my, oh, my fingers are hurting. Woo! <laughs> it's just a tough gig man, because I'm having to mix sort of lightweight gear for hiking. And then it getting down to whatever it was last night, that was definitely, oh. I don't know mate, if it was minus six down bottoms, then it's gonna be like, 
minus eight, nine up here. It was cold anyway. If I can maybe find some woodland to camp in tonight to keep the cold away, that'll be good. If not, Paddle. Well, it depends. If I get to Paddle as it's getting dark and there's room somewhere to stay, I'll stay, but if not, we bat on. Treacherous underfoot. I'm glad I stuck with where I was last night. <laughs> I would have been further up, so it would have been colder and it doesn't look very campable. Looks like they're going to be building a, a path through this area. It's a popular area now with the coast to coast and whatnot. It gets pretty boggy, but whew, I do not envy <laughs> the people who've got to lay them. Look at that, mate. Must be six inch thick. Thankfully, they're sort of outlining the, the path for the way I've got to go. And all this would be usually soaking wet, but I'm able to just Oh shit! <laughs> oh, fuck. oh my god, right on cue. <laughs> I'm able to just walk. Thankfully, guys, it's completely frozen over, so uh, I'm able to just walk. I'm able to just glide across the top of the ice like, like some sort of figure skater without plummeting into the freezy cold, peaty nonsense. <sighs> Oh yeah, <laughs> bit of, uh, bit of joyous. I like made me laugh though. I got it. I got myself the old. <laughs> got me that riding funny bone. Oh, it's not funny though because it's cold on foot and it's so early doors. Only just set off. Right, there's cairns leading the way, and this is it. Look, I mean that's where they've got to, where the piles are, where they're putting them in. So they've not got. Not got too far to go, and I'm guessing they just put them over the most, the most brutal parts. But wonderful! A round of applause to whoever's laid that. That must have. I mean, see just that little path there. That must have took absolutely ages. They must be using plant, plant machinery and stuff like that. Cause you can't, can't be just shiving that off by bare hand. Hey, I see it in distance. Look, see that shiny thing there? It's a digger. How's he got that up here? And then big units across there, they've got to be lifting that with a machine. It's too big. But it's nice now, look at that. You can see the sun on the other side of that. See how's it bouncing off that hill? Oh, I managed to get a signal up here. I got a text message off one of me off one of my friends and it says, uh, what did it say? <laughs> it says I can't believe you've chosen to go on a hike during another is it <laughs> something about why do you always wait for severe weather warnings before going on your long distance hikes? And I don't. It just happens that way. It's just how, how timing is. But we've had severe weather warnings for for this cold spell and I'm in the middle of it. And it's brutal. Last night was brutal and it's made me think like, it is a weather warning, so. I ain't got all gear to sleep up top. I'm not going to sleep up mountain, mountains tomorrow. I mean tonight. We'll look for something a bit different because it is a bit daft, isn't it? So I was thinking now, if you didn't have, if I'd not put all my bags and stuff underneath, oh, my hands underneath sleeping bag, uh, underneath airbed, I wouldn't have had any sleep. I'd have been too cold. And there's now worse, is there? Being too cold to sleep. Oh. Little digger there. I'd have had to get into digger. <laughs> Kipped in digger. Well, this is the helicopter did in. Three ton to Kubota. I wonder if it's open at Keat. I don't know. I'll start driving it. I'll finish path for them. Imagine that. Come back in a few days and it's finished. <laughs> this track is a joy where it hit my feet are freezing now. 
I wonder if it goes how, how long it goes. So I'll have to update the Cicero guidebook and say they've had this path put in. Maybe I'm new guidebook. So if you're watching this and you're doing the um, coast to coast or the tour of the Lake District or if you're just walking over from Rossway to Grassmere, know this. That it's paved. Crazy paving. Where am I going here? Oh, still get a wet foot though. It's still there's still boggy bits though, so be mindful. Oh, I never ever put honestly, these cairns are lifesavers. And uh on one of my videos I'd put some on top of a cairn, added to it. I don't know. Leave no trace, cairns are like a trace and all that, and I, he didn't like it, he didn't like them. But in the in the cairn's defence, like that doesn't look like a trace, it's not like litter or anything is it? I think personally, I think they're amazing because it, it just shows, in fact I'm going to add to one now. It's frozen to the floor! <laughs> this one? Yeah, I get you. <laughs> and if it is just one person at a time doing it, that's a lot of people all working together to help the people that are coming again to find their way there's a sense of community in it and it's I, I think it's great and they don't look unsightly when i see them i just think ah nice one that's marking the way the little cairn put there by someone who cares cairn something to do with cares care cairn bear oh there's the sun it's still freezing Whew. Mining out here. I'm assuming it's mining, maybe it's farming, I don't know. Whew. It is slow going because it's pretty icy. Don't want to stack it out here. It's pretty remote. This is how peaceful it is. Right, anywhere shockingly easy before I she don't want to be going in here. Right, here we go. That's the one. Oh. Even river. Right on cute battery went. That one lasted me about 15 minutes. It's chewing through them because of it. Because it's so cold. The reason it's not snowing is because we've got beautifully clear skies. Which often does make it colder. I'll bring it river. Oh, it's not even a river, really, is it? Can I walk over there? Probably not. Give it a go. Whee! Come through here. Really boggy through here. And up. Again. And then we're on the, we're on the pass here. And then we're going to be going over. Down this valley and round. And hopefully Grassmere is just over yonder. Or is it that path there? I'll have a quick map time, but I'm sure it's just meandering down here from what I can remember. I'm having a rest. One of these naked bar and a bit of just a bit, a bit of a slush. Some electrolyte slush puppy in a naked bar. What more do you want? Mm. You know, there's there's a couple of different ways you can go. One of them's of a striding edge, Helvellyn striding edge. But it's not advised to do when you've got big, when you've got big pack on and it's going to be snowing. It's still early doors, so I've got it all to myself. <laughs> the big playground. Robert 2.0 keeps following me, and I'm keeping my eye out for somewhere where I can have a swim. I say swim, just a dip. Just dunking up to the neck. I just breathe it out. Be 
beautiful. There's one for you. He's just look at that odd thing there. Unit. I like how he's added a bit of timber to stop it going too far down. That is. Has he got any springs or out? How's it? What? I can't. That's as far as it opens. What's going on? That. He's got wrong hinge on it though. That's it. What? I can hardly get through. I can't even get through. I'm going to go over it. That man, it's been a real struggle to get through that. I've had to clamber over it. He's just had a mare in this area, look. That's how it used to be. Maybe should have kept it how it was. But he's used old hinges. And it's just not, that ain't, that ain't big enough to give it enough. To open it enough and he thought, oh, sod it. They'll just have to deal with it. Please close gate. I could if I could open it first, mate. I wanna make this forever. A decision has been made. I've had a breakfast and a coffee and a cake. <laughs> had a little look around Grasmere. Beautiful. Can you hear him? Robert 2.0 telling me it's right decision. So refreshed as Robert 2.0 serenades me from up high. <laughs> I'm gonna go for it. The weather is gonna turn, but in for a penny, in for a pound. I had a look to see if I could find a roll mat, like a cheap roll mat to buy, they didn't have anything, so I'm either gonna have to camp low or in some woodland or I'll make I'll make do, I'll make do. Uh, I'm gonna go for it, we're gonna get it done. My only problem is is all my batteries have gone, so if that's the case then so be it. It's just gonna have to be cobbled together with what I can do on my phone and whatever little batteries left on the GoPro, so the whatever quality we've had throughout this might uh, deplenish a little bit but it hasn't been that good anyway because I've been filming in 720p so I might as well just film it on this leaf you'd think I'd be saving it wouldn't you because gotta get right up there and I'm hot I'm gonna have to delay her I've got all my merino wool under here and although it's all right now I know once I start ascending up there it's gonna get sweaty Medic! So that's where I've come from, that furthest ridge over that, over the top of that through this valley up and round and then as you know, <laughs> over here uh, and keep going Go for a little plunge, foot lols. It's only because you're here that I've got clothes on. Woo! That's cool. <laughs> Woo -hoo -hoo -hoo. Yeah! 
brand new golem, brand new. Look at tan line on it from bright red. <laughs> Way bright red and brand new. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh, right, come cool. on, let's get to the summit of whatever the for. It's nippy. I've got that tingling all over me now. I know you only saw me in there for a little bit, but I stayed in a little bit longer because uh, I wanted to get some shots with GoPro. Of, of an, and I, I don't like you seeing me, it's GoPro, because it breaks the uh, fourth wall a little bit, doesn't it? So I was in there more, longer than it appeared. And I've got that wonderful tingle all over my body, giving me a new lease of life. I can only do that so much though, because it's getting getting under crackers off and that but gear is just everything it takes a lot it takes a while so it chews into time this is a beast of a climb like stopped halfway to re-energizing waterfall stunkle bulgaria <laughs> it's air getting thinner i think it feels like it temperature's dropping Oh, is that because I've just been in there? Probably. Nowhere I'd rather be today. On God's green earth. I'll certainly make it to Patdale. Unless something magic or tragic happens. It's weather warnings for tomorrow. And it's going to be bad weather. <laughs> and my batteries are running out, but... We're doing it. Even if... Even if battle... <laughs> Even if all my batteries go, and I've just got to write a handwritten report of how I finished the hike, make it into a PDF, and give you a lot, <laughs> and then instead of updating a YouTube video, I'll just give you all links to PDF, so I'll have a read of it, and that'll do, won't it? A few photos, no, no photos, whoa! <laughs> I'll draw a few pictures, for you, you can check it out. I tell you what, waffling on these ascents isn't the one, especially you got little deadly little ice patches like that. Look at that in the distance, Lake Windermere. good stuff now i've hit a bit of a it's a false summit we still gotta go up there let's go i don't mind these up and overs they're just i don't know it's good and it? it's good for the soul man it's good just to feel like you're doing a bit like you're earning it or like i'm earning it just, i just speak for me but it just feels so good because I know once I get up there and it plateaus out next to the tarn, I'll be like, oh. And then we're just coasting, coasting down a beautiful valley into Patterdale. Just got to get this leg pumper done. Oh, look at the views, man. Wind in the background. I'll be able to bring you some nice views from up there as well. That's another good, another good thing about putting in some some arduous leg pumpers. I do say leg pumper a lot though, I've realised I will. I need to think of something else to say instead of
sound. Ooh, nice place to pitch here. Mind you, that wind through that valley is a bit biting. Once bitten, twice shy. I must have had about an hour's kiff last night. Through being all like cold and that, and sliding around, because bag was under thing like I was like just sl sliding off it and every time I slid off it and a bit of me touched the floor or touched a bit of mat that was touching the floor I'd just be like Burr, and it'd wet me up I was even dreaming st dreaming that I was like falling down these snowy cliffs <laughs> traumatic mate so I'm either sleeping tonight not up here I'm either in woods or in a, like a, uh, a youth hostel, or a b and or a boozer, or something like that. It all depends, doesn't it? Wherever I am, when it's the end of the hiking day, we'll see what's the most convenient around me, and uh, <laughs> we'll take it from there, because it is a custom adventure. Please don't remember earlier on when I was giving it big licks, saying I'm camping every night up in the mountains, Come rain, sleet, snow, shine, tsunami the lot. I'm up there camping. Because plans change, guys. <laughs> and I've got, uh, we're going to blame it on ADHD, am I? No. I've just got a, a I'm scatterbrained, so I don't always, I can never really make plans that good, so. We just take it as it comes. Please don't do me for sitting in a country pub near an open fire. And anyway, it's nice to have a mixture of freezing cold wild camps and cosy country pubs. I got all these nez bits. Look, <laughs> D of E, D of E, D of E. through this valley I'm enjoying it I aren't doing much waffle because batteries well the way things are going we're, uh, we're smashing it so it looks like no matter where I end up tonight depending on whether tomorrow I'm going to make it to Ambleside and to finish tomorrow uh, and it would be nice to be able to document the final day as best I can so when there's like, oh, I'm sacrificing gates and that. I was going to say when there's stuff that ain't important. I'm, oh. Well, okay, just gates that you've all seen before. You know, you the usual suspects, these and them and all that. The usual gates. They're just going to have to get put to one side because even my GoPro SD card on it has got about 3% left. So... I might see it in my pants as far as documenting it goes. But I'm doing it regardless, even if if all my phone if my, you know if my phone goes and all my batteries go, so be it. I'm doing it anyway. I'll just I'll maybe do a video when I get in from uh Tales from the Fungarium just to let you know how it went. Talk you through it, that'll be alright, won't it? Look at these stinkers look. Okay, in with eyes look, looks like a, I mean I'm wasting valuable battery on this but it's worth it because look, look straight at me brother, he's got one on each side, oh I get big planes going over, planes going over and I'm trying to film a cow's face because I think he looks like a superhero, filmmaker at year stuff in it, there it is look, did 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 sound. If you've not walked on tarmac for a while and you've been up in over that, over, over all the stones and your ankles have been moving all over then. It's nice to get on tarmac and if you've been on tarmac for ages, it's nice. This is shit, <laughs> banter's gone right downhill. Right downhill, because I'm tired a bit. It's a nice place to camp down there on that corner. Look at that, beautiful. Yeah, banter juice has evaporated because I'm tired. Then when I put camera on, I'm like, oh, I've only got 
I ain't got that much battery, so better keep the uh... <laughs> gotta keep the banter to a premium because batteries are running out. Now I'm pressured, I'm like, <laughs> sish, start waffling about tarmac being. I don't even know what it was. <laughs> anyway, this is good use of, uh, of battery, this, isn't it? Having some sort of internal waffle, but external and for the YouTube to listen to absolute scenes, mate. I'm nearly in Patterdale, there you go. Let's, this is nice, isn't it, look? He's still called me. My slush puppy is still a slush puppy in my bag. Hasn't thought out from this morning. Praise be. Here's the deal, guys. Here's the deal. Quick pint on, maybe a bite to eat, and uh, if they've got a room with breakfast for less than 80 quid, I'm doing it. I'm doing it. It's my holiday, mate. It's my holiday. I want it. I look at all cars. It's going to be full, isn't it? And if that's the case... I'll find somewhere, but time is cracking on. Cracking on indeed. I might go sleep back in that church. It's got free Wi-Fi. Also, if they've got a pint of Wainwrights on, let's get in here. Cheers. Absent friends. Um, Alfred Wainwright. Fantastic. <laughs> Look at this, lads and lasses. It's pretty much luxury, this fancy decor. It's again, it's someone's nan's, but no bad view. Oh, oh, guess how much? Guess how much? I'm going to be telling you how much tomorrow, I'll tell you later. I want them to say it at my funeral, it's just 50 quid, right, 50 quid, am I red, I'm blushed from outside, 50 quid, right, three course dinner and breakfast and there's entertainment in the bar from 9 till 11, 50 quid all in, I was like, you have to, don't you, you have to, you, surely you have to for 50 quid, Three course meal, breakfast, and live entertainment, and they've got Wainwright on tap. <laughs> and this look. Oh, I'm gonna sleep like a log. I'm so happy, I'm so happy. Oh, mate. Right, well, I'll maybe, I'll take my camera maybe with me and see if I can get some at live entertainment. It might be funny, it might be great. I might not, who knows, but otherwise, let's, uh, let's head on over to map time. And there we are. Welcome back to map time. And we left me in here freezing my knacker off. Right, woke up. There's something I have to tell you that I forgot to tell you at the time. And that is that my, <laughs> my four delta pegs, which I had uh, on, in my tent, had frozen into the ground. Because I shooed them in on the night and then the ground froze and I couldn't get them out. They were stuck and I was thinking, what am I going to do? So what I decided to do was use my morning piss and just... Well, I had to. I had to piss on my temp pegs in order to get them out of the ground. A little bit on this one. Nip it off. Next one. Is this too much information? Yes. Is it also top tier survival? Yes. Would Bear Grylls be proud? Yes. Anyway... So we started on there, up over this frozen boggy area, where there's the new path now, where I got my little bog foot, up to here, which is where that iron fence was, which I've later found out, it's an old parish boundary. This was also very boggy, and you can see the amount of little streams and stuff that you've got across. Up here, to this pass, lovely views over Grasmere Common, a nice steady descent through here. This was lovely hiking. I know I keep saying that, but it was. It was really lovely. Not a soul in sight. I stopped off here just to have a naked bar and appreciate the views. And on I went onto the second map. Look, <laughs> it's massive. There's maps. There's maps there. There's maps there. They're everywhere. 
it's a back fest. Such a lovely day man, I was so lucky with the weather again. Down through here, there's a few little houses down here and a shocking gate mate, an absolute, he'd had a mare but the less we talk about that the better. Continue on down here, over this field, over this lovely stone bridge, through this little wood here, and then we hit the road, but it's only a quiet road, meander down here, and you can get off the road here, and there's a little path at the side of it, which is nice. Someone was doing the gardening and recognised me, and I had a nice little chat with her. Um, you, I'm sorry if you're watching, I, had, I forgot your name while I do this, so I do apologise, but um, hello. Over here, into Grassmere, which means lake with grassy shores, which will be this thing here. Uh, I tried to find a roll mat to keep me warm for the next night, but I couldn't find one. I had a nice little look around the Wordsworth Daffodil Gardens, and then off I was. I had, in fact, I double dropped, I had another coffee, and then I was off back along here, because I'd made the decision to crack on. Now, I had a few different options, like should I, there's, a, there's a shorter version, which if I zoom out, you can see here, pretty much takes you along here, and bosh, there you are, back in Ambleside where I started. And it only takes a couple of hours, but I wasn't having it. So I cracked on. I saw my little robin, which gave me uh, a sign to say that I was doing the right thing. Back, following the road I came, and then we branch off here. Joined back onto the coast to coast. Along this road, over this bridge, over this main road. And then we start our ascent. I'm glad I took my base layer off because this was quite steep. And here's, here's the waterfall that I had a lovely little dip in. And that just gave me uh, a proper spring in my step to tackle this next bit. This bit was pretty steep. And then this is a false summit. And then this, as you can see, these contour lines are well close together. So this is pretty steep. Zigzag up here. Some lovely views back over Windermere. And we go over the top. The beautiful Grisdale Tarn, follow that by the side of it, and we get up here, This the wind was blowing a hoolie through here. And down we go, down Patterdale Common, following Grisdale Beck, all the way down here, that's where I saw my little cows. Keep going. Legs were starting to cave in a little bit here, and so was Noodle. Uh, we hit Patterdale, we hit the road. And then we follow the road, there was a little church here that was offering free Wi-Fi, which I was tempted by, but cracked on. And there we are, look at the Patterdale Hotel. Did I mention it was 50 quid for a three-course meal, breakfast and a bed? Wonderful stuff. Join me tomorrow for the final day where the weather takes a turn for the worst. And if you're not subscribed already, please consider subscribing. Hit the bell notification to be notified of the next upload, and I'll see you again soon. Bye for now.